Hi, and welcome everyone to this session on automating the difficult real world multi user scenarios by Shama Ugli and Ashish Nirmal. We are glad that they could join us today. Without further delay, over to you, Shama and Ashish. Hey, thank you so much, Joel. Hey, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, without wasting time, I'll just quickly jump into the topic. Yeah, so yeah, let me ask you this question. Uh, let's start with asking, how many of you do not recognize this? Any of these apps you do not recognize? Raise your hands, please. Anyone of you there who do not know these apps at all? I'll take it as a no. And I just want to make sure that, you know, uh, this is an interactive session. So please feel free to uh, put your answers on the Q&A session or in the chat, anything. I'll be checking them. And that's how the interaction will be because you're not meeting face to face, right? <laughs> so let's start. I am taking this answer as yes, that everyone is familiar with all of these apps, right? Now, how many of you, you know, um, mostly at least i have spent most of my time during this pandemic with these apps right uh, okay so sunil says he's not familiar with zoom app okay zoom is again these are all video conferencing apps people uh, most of us use some or the other platform to keep in touch with um, you know our teams go on conferences uh, go uh, for meetings, webinars, seminars, right? This is how we are keeping in touch with our teams. So the bunch of apps that I have listed down here is like WebEx, Zoom, Teams, GeoMeet, GoToMeeting. Um, and so at least I have seen during this pandemic, the users have gone, you know, a very high. And at least I can, I, I have been using most of these apps, even personally and professionally. And uh, I have seen people using this for also weddings, get togethers, parties on professional end. We do the interviews, webinars, online conferences, everything on these apps today. Uh, could you please go to the next one? So let us all think about some of the common use cases as part of this app. Can you, you know, quickly ping what are the common use cases that you think you use these apps for? Quickly, people? Any common use cases? How do you use Zoom? How do you use Teams, uh, Cisco, WebEx, GeoMeet, anyone of, of, of you have used it? Calls, okay, what kind of calls? Video calling, voice calling, correct. So basically meetings, right? Yeah, online meetings. I see a couple of uh, responses here. Anything else? You use this for meetings, video calling, audio calling, <laughs> wedding. Okay, right. <laughs> right. So if I move forward, I mostly use these apps for, as you all correctly said, I would use this to host a couple meeting, right? It can be audio only, it can be video only, it can be conferencing, it can be get togethers, it can be webinars, seminars. I also typically uh, share my screen, discuss ideas with my team. I do file sharing. I send in some text chats. All of these are very common use cases. Uh, I would not go launch Zoom or launch any meeting and sit idle there. I'll at least have one person in the uh, meeting, right? Right, so... Let me now think, how do you want to test these kind of applications? Or before coming to that even, how do you use this? From where do you use this? What platforms? Can you think of it? different platforms that you can use these apps on? And how do you actually access these apps? Anyone? Mobile? Yeah, desktops, correct, tablets, mobiles. So there are different platforms. You can come from mobile, you can come from iOS, Android as an app or on the browser. You also have desktop applications. They are also on all the platforms, right? Now think of a meeting that you're hosting, okay? Uh, as a host, you can be on any of these. And as a user, you can join these meetings from any of these platforms. Now, how would you test such an application? 
how do you want to test it just think of functional test cases how do you test an application where there are a number of users someone is on video someone is on audio someone is sharing the screen you're discussing you're sending in chats links images emojis right how do you test these applications otherwise um, i mean even after now for testing you need some kind of infrastructure right how do you uh, what kind of infrastructure would you need to test this device farm mac so all that we discussed right we might we might want to uh, host a meeting uh, as a i mean as an attendee i want to attend from a browser as a host i want to host it on a browser uh, as an attendee i can also use my mobile app and i can join right so there are n number of ways various platforms uh, medium to actually join a single meeting and then video audio file sharing everything happens right and the infrastructure that you would need is so many uh, you might need multiple machines or you might need multiple devices uh for testing i can use device farm but can you think of testing this how tedious it is go launch a meeting attend it from uh, another machine or a mobile try to validate all the options that you get correct so these are all the functionalities but now let us think of uh, the releases okay very frequent releases we have we all i believe are mostly into agile we have lot of frequent releases hot fixes coming in and so on then how can i keep up with all of these kind of test is it easier for me to uh, do all of these testing manually for every build of course not i need to automate but can you think what kind of test cases can i automate here can i automate in a single flow i say my test cases i host a meeting as a user i mean sorry as a host i'm meeting uh, over uh, i'm using my um, web browser and then i'm sending all requests someone is joining from a phone someone is joining from a desktop app someone is joining from a browser as well and i need to interact in the same test case all the users need to interact with each other uh, some new users will be on video some users need to share the screen you need to validate whether everything is working fine and there are n number of options that you can do as a host as a guest as a participant and so on right how do you manage all of that how do you test this how do you automate definitely you will need to automate all of these because these are the common use cases on day to day basis for the app correct i cannot just automate a uh, login and um, uh, hosting a meeting i cannot keep it uh only uh, i can, can i cannot keep it limited only for these kind of test cases i'll definitely need to look forward to automate all the kind of these scenarios where there are multiple users involved in a single test they are interacting with each other correct so, so does this sound very challenging and interesting to you all right yes so this was even even for us it was really challenging okay at this point in time i definitely would like to uh, go ahead and uh, introduce uh, us it's me and my colleague here um, in this call and just to give an introduction um, my name is shama and uh, i have been working as a senior qa consultant uh, with xncio and i have around more than 12 years of experience so far working on automation test strategies and then uh, setting up uh, dev uh, you know devops um, environments and so on uh, i don't want to take much time i want to just hand it over to ashish i let ashish uh, go ahead and introduce himself yeah hello everyone so i am ashish and uh... i am currently working as uh, automation test lead at uh, reliance geo and i have around 10 years of experience purely in automation so uh, that's the background thank you so much ashish so uh, let's begin with talking about how did we actually solve this problem so this was again very challenging for us and this was kind of a must do so that we could cover most of our uh, automation um and uh, we implemented this let us have a look at the kind of tech stack that we used and then we will look into the code and see how actually we approached this problem uh, definitely we uh, implemented this uh, using java we used apm uh, to automate all the mobile scenarios 
uh, the iOS, Android, and then Selenium for the web part of it. And with APM, we also automated the Windows desktop. Okay, so we can have a single test having users on Windows machine using a desktop app. I can have a person joining in uh, from iOS, Android, web browser. Okay, similarly, host can be on any of the platforms and they interact with each other. We'll see that very shortly. We used APM test distribution. This is again a framework created by Sai and Srini. Um, they have created this framework to be able to uh, do the device allocation and um, orchestration between these allocation on multiple host machines. Cucumber is what we use to write these test cases, the BDD framework. pCloudy we used for the mobile infrastructure to have all the kind of devices to uh, join from different platforms to the same meeting. And we implemented TestWiz, which is a framework that we implemented specifically to solve this problem. So this framework actually does that orchestration for you between the users in a single test. Uh, to create those drivers, to handle those, you know, uh, actions as a user, simulate all the kind of different scenarios. You will see that shortly. I will uh, quickly, you know, hand it over to Ashish, who is going to uh, demonstrate this. And people, this is going to be live demo. So if anything goes wrong, please bear with us. Ashish, over to you. All right. Uh, thank you, Shama, for the introduction. All right. So... First thing first, I will first show you how, uh, so as uh, Shama mentioned, we use the Cucumber, the Gherkin language to write our scenarios. Okay. So first I will show you how a typical single user scenario looks like. Okay. So here, if you can see, I am talking about a scenario where user can schedule a meeting. Okay. Now this is something that a single user can do just like logging, log out. So the user is trying to schedule a meeting. Okay. So if you see the tags, the tags imply that it is implemented on three different platforms but when you try to execute it that would be executed on a single platform individually at this at any given time so this is what this is how a single user scenario would look like now i will go i will uh, show you how a multi-user scenario looks like okay so here if you can see we have given a, a new tag a special tag for it wherein we mentioned that this is going to be a multi-user scenario and we mentioned the platforms on which the users are, go users are going to be. So it is if, if you can see, uh, my users are going to be on Android and web scenario, sorry, on platforms. The other such thing, if, if at all there is a case where you want more than one users on Android, we would mention it uh, like this multi-user Android. So this would imply that the multi users more than one users are going to be just on the android platform so i will first give you a demo of how uh, this uh, android and web would look like so the scenario it says that host who's on android will remove guest who's on web platform from the meeting from the ongoing meeting okay so uh, the orchestration that uh, shama was talking about what we do is in the initialization steps we mentioned that host is going to be on a particular platform. So we mentioned it. Okay. So if I say host signs up using API, he, uh, logs in and starts an instant meeting on Android. Now this, we would mention the platform just once while you are initiating, initializing the, uh, any persona. So if I go and look at, uh, the step definition of it, it would look something like this. So I have created a user and I am creating a driver. So this driver is basically being created uh, on the test phase side. So this is the orchestration that she was uh, referring to. So this creates a driver for a particular persona and the platform that we have mentioned it. In the subsequent steps, if I say, so similarly, I am initializing guest user on the, plat on the web platform. In the subsequent steps, I'm not going to mention which platform is the user persona. All I have to do is I just give the persona itself and that would be taken care of. So this is how the uh, typical multi-user scenario that has host on the Android, guest on the web. Uh, I would be quickly giving a demo on how it looks like. So if you can see, I have an emulator uh, up and running here and I would trigger this uh, build for it. 
so till this is uh, initializing all the setup and everything the apm and everything uh the beauty of this uh, framework the orchestration is uh, that if let's say i want to switch roles if i want host to be on web and guest to be on android i can do it it's just the way that i have to replace this i have to switch the platforms that i have mentioned at these two places so i don't i need not to worry about uh, how you know the further steps would be taken care of it's just about how what you have mentioned in the first steps so i will check that as well so first thing will be going in the host wherein host is on android as you can see it has started uh, signing in sign up is already done by api uh, sign in is just done and as you can see it has started a meeting okay so it will take uh, some time to load the screen so once that is done you will see a web initialization done web browser initialization that would be for guest user so yeah just yes if you can see yes we have a web browser uh, launched it will click on join a meeting directly it will pass on the meeting details and everything and it will join the meeting so now if you can see on the android side you will get to see that a guest has joined okay and this is what it looks like so the scenario talks about the uh, removing of the guest so what would happen is uh, this on the android part it will since host is on android it will click on the guest it will remove it will say yes and if you can see the host has now come on the splash screen so this is how if you can see yes it was successful so this is how uh, the the multi user scenario would get get executed now quickly i will be taking my would be just changing this uh, platforms for uh, the users for the personas and will try to hit this again and will try to see how that works okay so i have again triggered so now android is going to, uh, on android guest is going to join the meeting and host is going to be on web now so if you can see the apm settings and everything is done on the android side and now first we'll have uh, a web launched a web browser right okay a uh, host will be signing in all right okay and it will start a meeting here excuse me and now on the android part if you see the guest would join the meeting there and now host is trying to remove that guest from the web so this is how the interaction between uh, the multiple users is going to happen all right so if you can see the guest has now joined on the android side all right host will now try to remove it quick time check we have a minute to go yeah we are just about to finish yes you can see all right so the other one worked as well all right so i will be stopping the execution here if you can see this also successfully got completed so this is how we would be switching you can switch the uh, platforms based on the implementation that is done and we will have we will see the interaction between uh, different personas and you can perform any actions that you want to test all right uh back to you shama hey thank you so much that was a wonderful demo uh people if you have any questions um um joy can we take any questions as of now do we have time yeah we have a little time we can go a couple of minutes over time okay so there is a question coming in uh, from sai uh, how are the drivers for these persona managed okay the drivers uh, managing these drivers orchestrating uh, everything is done using testwiz 
and the actual allocation of these drivers and devices we are leveraging uh, the methods from ATD that I was discussing. Um, APM test distribution is a framework which helps us to allocate the devices and create those uh, drivers, orchestrating between those drivers, between those tests and uh, uh, mapping those to user personas is what we are doing from TestWiz as a framework. I have all the reference links here uh, in the slides. Okay, uh, you might want to go uh, with it later on, you can check. And these are all open source, so please feel free to use. Is the flow available? Yeah, uh, so we have uh, some sample tests in the test -based framework. So if you want to check that how the tests are implemented and how are we running that with the sample apps, you'll be able to go through that. And if you have any questions, if you feel difficult, you can anytime uh, contact us. Uh, could you have passed the guest host and web Android as data examples and cucumber scenarios? Uh, yeah, there are different ways to implement that. Uh, you can, yes, you can use the personas as well and you can parameterize those as well. You can do that. Uh, I would like to add there a point that uh, the readability, the way we have passed it right now, the readability is better in this way that, you know, a uh, guest joins the meeting from Android is as simple as that, right? I don't have to go and check what the example and what the test data is being passed from the example. Uh, example. So this, the readability here, I would uh, say that it looks better. It is readable and it is easily understandable that uh, which person is going to be on which uh, platform. Thank you, Ashish. Any further questions? Okay. I think we are out of questions for now and out of time. So I'd like to thank uh, Ashish and Shama for sharing your experience with us today.